God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you guys are having a blessed day in the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah, giving praise. I really didn't know I was getting up on here today because um, I'm always busy and um, so had to stop calls, you guys. Um, prophetic class know what that means. But God had me, oh man, this one is heavy. Mm, this one is heavy. It's heavy. And hello everyone i haven't been on here for a moment you know um just whoo i got some heavy videos for you it's heavy i'm so serious hallelujah god lead me and guide me okay i don't know if y'all understand my title um I, and i gotta walk this thing out so i gotta teach it you know i, I know y'all kind of like you know people like excitement all the time i'm gonna have to teach this thing and then you're gonna understand what's happening in today's society god says so i was actually I'm always listening. I'm always learning. Yeah, that's another thing. If you are true, you're always growing. You never just stop. I don't care if you have a PhD, a DD, all the Ds, all the PhDs, whatever. You're always learning. You're always processing. Come on, somebody. You never just arrive. So I'm actually listening. And to be honest with you, cooking. And God said, Deanna, you want to know what's going on? Because it breaks my heart what's going on in the black culture and in the world, period. So let me go ahead and do a disclaimer. I love everyone. But I am black. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Black and Indian. But I'm black. And so, if God have called me to all people, but also I am black, so I'm going to be attacking our issues. Because, to be honest with you, the black culture have different issues than any other culture. All right. So, I don't know why God is taking me this way today, but here we go. I was um, listening to one of my mentors, and I said, my God, my God. This is what he was saying about the black man. And then God gave me a whole sermon about it. All right, so I got to walk this thing out. Dr. Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Mar Marcus Garvey, all the great, I would say, fathers of the black culture. That's what I'm saying. They were not just, um, how could I say, the activists to where, oh, just black power. They were about justice. They was about morality. They was about honor. They was about um, striving for the whole black culture to do better. It wasn't just about black against white. It was never that. It was like we want justice. We want to. We want to be um, counted, created equal. Oh, y'all know what I'm saying. But I gotta walk this thing out. I gotta walk this thing out. Just bear with me. You notice what they did in those days. The mother stayed home because what they did not want is the system. I'm going somewhere. Walk with me. You got to walk with me and it's going to be a tight one. They didn't, they didn't want the system raising their children. So what happened is the black man actually worked no matter what. And I mean, sometimes he had to work all day and night, but the mother stayed home and she made sure the children was learning. She made sure they went to school. They did that. Who were their friends? They didn't indulge in bad activity. I'm going somewhere. Notice I'm going to go ahead to my title again. The enemy used crack to crack the foundation of the black culture. I remember being a young woman or a young lady back in Abbeville, Louisiana. Do y'all remember when they shut down all the mills? Well, there was a mill. i never forget. It was the rice mill in Abbeville, Louisiana. I remember when they shut down the mill, a lot of people lost their jobs, predominantly black people. And so that's when the drug era started. I'm talking about, next thing you know, that little town was flooded in with drugs. I'm going somewhere. Walk with me. Walk with me. Walk with me. Because here's the deal. I got to walk this thing. I got to walk it. Bear with me. Those that can, those that don't, see you. Okay, so anyway, if you control the money, you control the family. If you control the family, you control the father. If you take the father off the home, the foundation is cracked. So let me go ahead and understand. So we're trying to eat. So now some black men, they still had morals. They was like, you know what, I'll go to college. I'll take up a trade. I'll do whatever I got to do. But the majority was like, we're going to lose our home. We're losing th things. We got to do what we got to do. So they start selling drugs. Now, hold on. Who do you think they sold the drugs to? Predominantly black. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm sorry. They had a few white people, but they didn't get on that stuff. It was predominantly black. Even in, ever, everywhere across the United States, it was the heroin, angel dust, every type of cocaine you want to talk about. It didn't just happen in that little town. It happened across the country, the United States. 
Y'all saw what happened. What happened? People got on drugs. Robbery started. Murder started. Oh, I'm gonna I'm peel this onion backwards. Straight up, hallelujah, because I got to get, I got somebody I got to touch. Somebody I got to make you see what's going on so you can start praying for everybody. But you're going to understand what I'm saying. So now God was saying the black man has lost their morals, their integrity, their honor, their self-respect. It started with the drugs. Because now, hold on, oh, I'm going to walk this thing out. This actually started in slavery. I'm going somewhere. Do y'all remember, and some of you are not going to like what I'm saying. I'm telling you, you're not going to like it, but I got to pull this onion back, peel this onion back. It don't even matter. Okay, so you remember when slavery, they referred to a house in IGGA and the field in IGGA. They always played the two against each other. They knew the only way to infiltrate is to become. Oh, come on, somebody. I'm sorry. I'm going here. Y'all come for me if you want. We're going to do this. So I'm going somewhere, oh, walk with me, walk with me. It is still happening today. It is still happening today. You have black people against black people and it's about the money. God said it started in slavery. Well, if we take one of them and put them in the house, then the rest gonna think that they can get in the house. Oh, I'm going somewhere, I'm gonna walk this thing out, I'm gonna walk this thing out and you're not gonna like it. And it ain't a color thing, it's a real thing. So. Let's come into this time zone. We never had that 40 acres in the mill. We're the only nationality not to get our due. Everybody, everybody else, the Indians, everybody else didn't got, we didn't, we the only one didn't, didn't get it, right? So this is what they say. We'll give it to them in another way that would destroy them. Hollywood, then they start letting y'all become actors. Oh, I'm, I'm going away. Then they start letting y'all be in the NBA. Come on, somebody. The baseball leagues. But hold, hold on. But the mentality, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna stay with their mind. We're gonna, we see, we can't slave their bodies. But if we slave their mind, we can slave their body. Walk with me in this thing. And cause, and, and I'm going somewhere. And I couldn't understand. And hold on, I love, I love, I have white friends. As a matter of fact, my grand, my grandfather. So go ahead on my mom's side, on my daddy's side. So go ahead. We have all different colors in Louisiana. So I don't want to hear all that. Tell y'all right now, but I'm walk this thing out because I have to. So long story short, <laughs> my God, my God, my God. Um, <laughs> y'all don't understand how deep this is. So they start giving us money in those fields and then they say in order to be accepted you have to marry a white woman don't understand how they start doing that but it was all propaganda to get us against each other if i can pit them against each other because our race have never ever been together since slavery because they know that if we do we'd be powerful so they have always kept us apart but hold on is it them or is it us I got to get me. I got to get me. Let me walk this thing out some more. So now you have people right now in today's society, the rappers. Do you know a rapper make more money than a doctor? Do you know a rapper make more money than a teacher? What are they rapping about? Oh, y'all don't understand. I got to keep the foundation cracked. I got to keep them oppressed suppressed depressed by their own nature y'all don't hear what i'm saying y'all are so busy trying to get that money into your children are being taught by the system now attacked by the system hold on not just your children your mothers are being suppressed by the system because you want to be blessed and highly favored i'm gonna get that money i'm gonna get that bag Everything that they're saying in those songs on television tells you to just, um, I, I just want the money. I'm, a, I'm I'm about to come back around. Let me tell you what they did in the 40s, the 50s, the 60s, the 70s. They refused certain monies if it went against their morals, their family, their honor, and their integrity. This day and age, everybody, you will go against your mother, your father, your sister, your brother, thus saith the Lord. And God said he is not pleased. Can I tell y'all something? You don't get away with nothing. I'm talking to the whole world right now. If you, if you stealing, if you lying, if you killing, if you sacrificing, yeah, I'm talking to all y'all that's the elite. Talking to you too. 
Y'all don't see what time it is? All it is is the devil and did the same thing he did to Jesus. If you fall down and worship me, I give you anything. Just don't worry about them. Don't worry about them. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. That's why they killed every leader that told the truth. I just said something. Malcolm X, maybe his delivery was not the most righteous, let's be honest. But he was trying to tell he was trying to show us they got they're, they're trying to pit us against each other. That's how we're not surviving. And you got those that even then, look, I, I gotta stay with this job, I gotta eat. Where was their faith? Where's your faith? I'm going somewhere with this thing. I'm going to walk this thing out. It is the same thing today. You are so controlled by the money that you are missing your character, your integrity, your honor, your faith, and your God say God. Hallelujah. Y'all don't hear what I'm saying. I'm going to walk this thing out. Y'all know I'm building up my business. Y'all know I didn't walk away from restaurants, all kind of stuff, right? Well, the other day, I, I wanted to get a, I was, I was approved to get a um, catering van. The guy kept trying to put me into something I didn't want. More money and all kind of other stuff. Oh, you know, and, and a desperate person would have taken it. You know what I, and I'm not kidding. This is real talk. I'm not just telling you my business. I'm telling you how real I am about what I do, what I do. I got mad. I got a righteous anger. I said, kill the deal. Who does that? And I walked away from it. I see what God have told me, and I'm going to do what God say. Don't try to persuade me, devil, because I see you. Because if I get you, if, I, if you can persuade me, then that means that you can control my mind. If you control my mind, you control my actions. Did somebody catch that? People, you are being controlled by the money. Anything, because you know if you don't do what they say, that money going to stop. Some contracts going to stop. Oh, some people have walked away from it all because they do have integrity. They do have honor. They do have self-respect. Come on, somebody. That's why we've seen a lot of murders. That's why we've seen robberies. That's why the elite is attacking our kids now. Because now people do not have morals. What am I saying? This whole post, this whole Facebook Live is about, thus saith the Lord, stop. Trading in your flame for fame. Stop trading in your anointing for a dollar. And I'm going to be honest with you. Most preachers have done it. And I, I'm going raw, I'm going raw today. Y'all, I could have had three or four houses with the money that have came in. I have, it, people will tell you, I have given away money. Thousands. People say, what's wrong with you? You, you ain't got nothing now. What's wrong with you? That is not my money. Hallelujah to his name. I don't get to show boat. And yeah, I get upset. The ones that do. You don't get to do that. You mean to tell me that you can pass by somebody starving? You can pass by a little lady that can't pay her rent? Y'all preachers make me sick. Yeah, I said it like that. I know y'all don't like me. Because huh? I'm real. I, I, I promise God I'll be like Jesus. Jesus made himself of no reputation. He was more concerned about souls and he had compassion. Oh, I'm going somewhere. Let me walk this thing out. God said, if you continue to let the money control you, then you will end up where you don't want to end up. And I hate to say it, but I got to say it. Hell is real. They don't want nobody to say that these days. As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and prophesy and tell y'all what they're going to do. Because I feel the power of God. You know how they're going to start putting Christians in jail? And, and if y'all better listen up. You ain't got to believe me. Just remember it. They're going to call us extremists. Black extremists and white extremists. Put it in the comments. Extremists. I'm already on that list, by the way. I could care less what... Y'all know I don't care, right? God picked the right one because I'm going to say what he say to say and I'm going to do what he say to do. Y'all better stop selling out your sister and your brother. I'm going to be real with you. I don't have no respect for nobody that do anything for money. I'm sorry. I don't respect you. You could be a brother, sister, mother, father. I don't respect you. And neither do God, by the way. And God going to get you. Oh, yes, he will. So let me continue. So now you have the system. And we all let it happen. We let it happen. I, I wasn't processed because I promise you, when they took the Bible out the uh, out the schools, prayer out of schools, we were supposed to stand up then. Where was black leadership? Where, where was leadership? Forget blackness. Where was leadership? Where was Christians? Oh, y'all don't hear me. Where was where is Christians now? Where are the leadership? Come on, somebody. The ones that that that's really talking about they love God. How come they letting execution go on? 
Oh yeah, I'm going here. From Trayvon Martin to Joshua Brown, that was a hit. That's been execution. Oh, I'm going here today. You know what God told me? That executing the black people because they want y'all to understand that slavery never changed. Hallelujah! Yeah, I'm saying it. Slavery never stopped. Y'all know it's true. We're the only race that they execute and nobody says anything. But when that black cop mistakenly shot that white lady, oh, he, he, he gone. And I'm talking about for life. He gone. Y'all better wake up and smell the coffee. It is an assignment against this black race. And, and I don't want to hear nothing about, oh, you, you talk, I don't care what you say. I'm black and I got to say it. I'm going to stand up for truth. I love everybody. I love God because God is of no color. Don't get it twisted. He love everybody. But that's what that's what's wrong. We stop, we stop fighting for justice. I will never stop fighting for justice ever. Hallelujah. Hey, it's just us. Ain't no justice. And if you love God, you will see it too. Somebody got to stand up. They don't want us to say nothing. And to be honest with you, the leaders don't want to say nothing because guess what? They got money on it. And, and Al Sharpton owed the IRS so much, he ain't going to say nothing. Jesse Jackson, he still, you know, was one of the ones that helped kill Martin Luther King. Y'all ain't ready for me today. Y'all ain't ready for me today. They always use a black to do it. Uh, oh, I put, thank you, Lord. I hear you. This is public record, by the way. Every leader that you've ever known, let me tell you how they got them. And this is public. You can go to every any FBI site. It, it, you could read it. Yes, you could just read it. They used a black FBI agent to get close to him. Can you believe that? And it, again, it's not about color, but you know what I'm talking about. You were so busy doing your job that you killed a brother or helped kill a brother and a sister. Even in Christ. Forget black, in Christ. That's why I check everybody close to me. And I, I'm about to say something tonight. Y'all don't even know what I've been through. Y'all don't know what I go through. They got people, can't say it right now, I can't say it right now, I'll be able to say it shortly, all in my face. You think I don't know what you done did? I don't respect you, and God gonna get you, if you're looking at this video, all in my face. You think I don't know you took them people money? Yeah, I said it. I don't respect you, <laughs> and, and, and you're gonna go through some more, because one thing about it, that man real up there. I, I, I didn't think so when I was young. I didn't think so when I was being all evil and doing all kind of stuff. But I've seen stuff that I can't explain. And I ain't high. I ain't on nothing. I just naturally, you know, I'm naturally, I can go from zero to a hundred. I've seen angels. I've seen demons. I've seen the glory of God. So can't nobody tell me nothing. But I'm telling you right now, it's an assignment against the black culture. It's always been an assignment to divide us and conquer if I knock down the foundation and there's a crack in the foundation, then people start slipping through the crack. Black men, stand up. Black men, stand up. Black women, stand up. Take your children back from the enemy. Society is raising your child to be this, to be that, to just want money, don't have honor and integrity. Why do you think we're seeing what we're seeing? That's why those killing those ch those children killing each other y'all working so hard to make a living that you're not teaching them how to make a life you're not teaching them morals and integrity and honor not to steal not to kill not to lie not to rob because you're so busy working you can't even raise your children you're buying them everything but you're not giving them what's the most important thing that's the difference between the old and the new, the 40s, 50s, 60s, mothers and fathers and grandparents, they raised us with honor and respect. If we went and verd, it was on our own. I can honestly say that I was surrounded by honor, integrity. I just did what I did, what I did. I take that full rep by myself. But this society, they've had a lot of help from the video games, what they see on TV, all the nastiness they got. They started with the children cursing. Y'all remember that? Now, and I, I'm touching every subject. Y'all not going to like it. I love everybody. I went in the store today. My black men, my black men. That's not of God, homosexuality. 
You're not a woman. I'm sorry. That's a spirit. That's a spirit. That And hold on. I'm going here. I've researched. You know where the spirit is coming through? The water in certain areas. The, 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 there's a chemical that they've put in. Oh, y'all ain't ready for me. That they put in the weed. Ah, oh, that they put in the beer. They know y'all like to drink. Oh, I didn't want to work. I want to drink. This have been chemical warfare from day one. Hallelujah. And that's in the files too. You know all the FBI files is free. The ones that's opened up, you can read all this stuff in there. They didn't told us and showed us what they do. There's a crack in the foundation, said the Lord. And now you got women trying to be men. I will never try to be a man. I understand my anointing is heavy, but I respect the order of God. That's another thing that's out of order. The order is man, Christ, man, and then woman. Y'all got to come back to the oracles of God, said God. Hallelujah to his name. Ain't nobody playing. God says, they took the father out the home. Most black men, most people are in prison. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Not only that, most of them have left their wives for all the, also a younger woman. Y'all understand? All this came by when all these movies came out. Everybody want to watch TV. Can I tell you something? Sometimes you need to back away from that TV because all it is a television. It's, it's showing visions of what you should do, how you should do it, what you should think, what you should wear. It's voodoo, witchcraft. And I, and I learned that about four years ago. Praise God. Hallelujah. God says, time to pray for our men. It's time to pray for our women. It's time to pray, period. It's time to pray and fast. Point blank in the story. Woo, hallelujah. I know, I, I know, I know. And, and there's a spirit of perverseness, said the Lord. Y'all, this all sex. Even in the music, you have to watch what your kids are listening to. I challenge every last one of you, start raising your kids in the Lord. It's time. You don't want to lose them to the streets. That's what this whole thing is about. We're losing our children. We're losing our men. We're losing our women. We're losing each other. We're losing ourselves. Wake up. Wake up. Wake up. What's it going to take? Martial law? New world order? Oh, it's coming. We look like you would want to be prepared before then. Hallelujah. All right. God bless you. God keep you. I'm going to get back on here because I have another um video. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Roll out soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.